Hey Day, can you introduce yourself and tell us what you do? Um, my name is Day Polini, and I'm a metal sculptor artist um, in Oakland, California. And um, I also run an apprentice program called Young Sparks Foundation, uh, where we I train um, teens who have some interest in learning. Uh, metal fabrication. How did you define success in this career? I found success in this career. My, my personal career um, entails um, both um, experience on really large-scale art projects that um, inclu include a number of, like that, that means not just large in size but large in the quantity of people that worked on it and most of them have been built by people who weren't paid mm -hmm. um, they just have the love of um, uh, being creative and have also been given an opportunity to learn the trade um, not every aspect of the trade but um, they can see um, from start to finish how a, a really unique piece gets put together. So there are opportunities and people who uh, do have experience share those lessons, uh, the skills with people who have absolutely no experience whatsoever. How do you feel being able to help others in this trade? How do I feel about helping kids and and adults actually um, I have the opportunity to, to teach um, kids from like five years old and up actually um, through the Maker Fair and I, it's it's really um, it just is it just fills my heart you know with excitement um, you know it's like opening a Christmas gift or something like that you know as soon as I see a five-year-old um, cutting metal and creating these sparks and their eyes light up um, with glee and excitement because they probably have never and might never again have the opportunity to play with an industrial you know dangerous machine uh, but they're safe you know and I make them feel safe and I make them feel comfortable and calm and that is like no experience that um, I, I can't describe now when it comes to the teens and having um, kids like you come to the apprentice program and and see you go from zero to a little bit of understanding of the trade um, and watch you grow um, you know and just adapt really quickly uh, that that really is very fulfilling for me too and, and that's a major level of success to me um, because uh, the, being a teacher and seeing your students you know turn from I have no clue what I'm doing to building a shoe rack yeah. and having some useful things that they made and they can use it at home and be proud of that so I it fills me with pride that's so that's how I feel mostly is pride and excitement have you found that there is separation between males and females in this trait oh yeah so that's kind of the way it is in a lot of um, normally male driven and uh, industries and trades carpentry electrical and the stuff like that um, so yeah, I mean, with the uh, women's movement in the 60s and the 70s, and um, it's opened up a lot of doors. Um, slowly, women have trickled into the various industries. Um, I have only been in this particular, the metal fabrication industry for like 11, 12 years when I kind of started and 
there it's my first experiences were um, in the welding school basically so I was like one or the only female um, I have come across a couple others but um, I found actually in my personal experience that men um, have for the most part been very respectful um, and I've just had conversations with them some and actually they I've ha I, their opinion is that they actually appreciate having women in their workplace mm -hmm. um, because they have had experiences with an all men male workplace mm -hmm. and they some of them don't like the rhetoric and the talk yeah. uh, about females and like or even not just necessarily about females even but just like the you know bad talk I guess yeah. you know cursing or this and that and when a woman is in the shop men tend to be a little bit more on their better behavior mm -hmm. and so there's the men that prefer that they prefer uh, an environment that's more professional yeah. you know and so um, and I have been at fabrication companies where it was all women and maybe one male yeah. and uh, and, the, and the business was run by a man and he has explained uh, that he in his opinion that women are much less afraid to ask questions to make sure it's right and they're very detail oriented so when it comes to women um, they've noticed that given the chance mm -hmm. women um, excel really quickly um, I think they have we as women have naturally have a lot of patience mm -hmm. and in, in the fabrication and welding with those skills you do it's absolutely required to uh, be t detailed and have a lot of patience if you don't there there could be some injuries or mistakes made and then it costs yeah. you a lot of money I want to say thank you for teaching me this trade something I want to do and it was last minute and it was kind of hard on time and I want to say I really appreciate you taking the time and helping me on days you didn't have to come and days you did have to come and I want to say I really appreciate that.